Welcome everybody to Wheaton College, home of the Wheaton Lions, where Norton will be participating in a Tri-Valley League indoor track meet, a beautiful new facility here at Wheaton. We're getting ready for the second heat where there'll be some Norton runners. You'll have Brett, Cropley, Brady McKay, and Gass. Running for your hometown team. This meet brought to you by NorthMediaCenter.org. Jameson Haig, David Bowie with the call. Let's see if we can't get a time for you, it'll be unofficial. So all four Norton runners. Norton will be taking on Bellingham, even though all the Tri-Valley League teams will be here. It is a dual meet versus Bellingham. Started getting ready. So be quick. And there are, oh, false start. So they reset it. I believe Brad is two, Cropley three, Brady McKay five, and Gas on the far end. And they're off. Looks like Brad out to an early lead. Finishes strong, and his rest of his teammates right behind, all doing very well there for the Lancers. So Brat takes the heat. We'll take a timeout here after the nice showing by the Norton boys hurdle team. And we'll let some of the other teams go through and we'll be back in just a moment. Gonna try and see some of the shot put action here, the early early rounds. I believe this is Pickett. Getting ready. There it goes. Good effort there. So very hard to see what the distance is here, but a nice job there from Mr. Pickett. Now this will be a, a Bellingham, one of the opponents of Norton. A nice toss there by the Blackhawk participant. A lot of action going on if you haven't been to an indoor track meet. Very exciting. Now this is, it'll be Bamford here. You can hear the uh, gun going off for the continuing heats of the 55 hurdles. Bamford now about to throw. Good effort there by Mr. Bamford. Gets a nice round of applause from teammates and competitors alike. Now it'll be one of the Blackhawk competitors. Four participants for Norton in this event are Pickett who went first, Bamford, and then Morabito, and one of the Soares boys.
Up next is Morabito. Morabito lets one fly. Good effort there. Next up will be a Bellingham competitor. This is the first round of the shot put. What's that fly? So we'll take a break now and we'll come back in just a moment with the 55 meter dash and some more of the action going on inside the field house. All right, here comes the heat for the Norton runners. It'll be Brat, Ferreira, and Jason Soares. Brat in the middle, Soares on the far end, and Mr. Ferreira. They'll be running here against the Blackhawks. So keep your eyes peeled because this will be a fast one. I believe there was no, uh, no runners for Bellingham for the hurdles. So if that's the case, Norton would have taken one, two, three. So Soares is 8.38, looks like Ferreira is 8.32, and Brad 8.34 for your runners here in the 55-meter dash. Start is ready. like the Blackhawks are out the early lead they go one and then tough one there close one it looks like Brad Ferreira pretty close to 2-3 another another Bellingham runner close there so unofficially in the 55 very close there. We're gonna give Norton second and third, but that is unofficial with Bellingham taking first. And we'll be right back in just a moment with the next event. All right, here we go. Looks like there's a Lancer in this event. So some of the lances will be sprinkled through here, some of these heats. Rest of your runners for Norton will be Potts, Nardone, Zach, Soares, Hasse, Collins, Brady McKay, Garropy, Bennett, Lynch, and it looks like Kamer Moreno. Started getting ready here.
usual big shout out to Superintendent Dr. Joseph Baeda, Principal Ethan Dolman, Vice Principal Amy Benner, Athletic Director Aaron Sumner who's buzzing around here somewhere, and trainer Cat Braley. Definitely support the kids. Do a wonderful job. Got a great bunch of student athletes at Norton High School. A big shout out too to the families, the parents, uh, no spectators, obviously. Uh, so hopefully you can spot your son or friends or nephews or grandsons and, uh, and enjoy this event. It's great to have it back and to have a place like Wheaton College. They're off. It's like the Norton Runner is going to take second. No, he might catch him. He does. Right at the tape. A great run for Norton there. The next seat will be ready. And it looks like a couple of Norton runners, maybe even three. Let's see if we can see. It looks like two. Lots of heats in the 55 here. Tri-Valley League meet. Outstanding track athletes. So we'll run down, we're gonna run down all the participants here for Norton. And then we'll do our best to get every event and to bring it to you. And there we go. Looks like Norton's going to take this heat as well. It might go 1 2. And they do. Outstanding job here by the Norton Sprinters. In the high jump, looks like Gonzalez Cropley, I believe, was going to jump. And looks like he may have been scratched. Also, he scratched from the long jump where Potts, Ferreira, and M. Collins will be. In the mile for Norton, it'll be McConnell, Nichols, Moon, and Guiney. 600 meter run will be Mills, Dion, and Gaz. 300 meter dash will be Jason Soares, Tran, Antosca, Brad, Ferreira, Hassey, Gonzalez, and Zach Soares. The thousand, there goes Norton again, let's see. Looks like they might have went two, three in that one. Maybe one. Might even have taken that one. It'll be McConnell, Massey, Allerhead, Bruno, Larrabee, Kaplan, McLennan, Cy and Sparks. And the two mile will be B. Johnson and Katsikis. Four by four will be Mills, Massey, Lerner, and Tran with Allerhead, the alternate, in case anybody can't go or has to be changed out. We'll be right back with some more action here from the Wheaton College Fieldhouse. All right, looks like we're going to see if Gonzalez is getting ready for the high jump. We're going to swing over to the 55 for this heat. Looks like there's some Norton runners in this heat here. And then we'll try and catch and see if Mr. Gonzalez looks like some Hopkinton jumpers are going to go ahead of him. So we'll wait on that. Another heat here in the 55. Chock full of Lancers. And they're off. Looks like the Lancers might have taken three, four, five in that heat. Another nice job. We've got another heat coming up with a lot of purple in it. So this heat here will be Filled with Lancers. Looks like there might be four of them. If 
Possibly five. So four lances there come in well, very well represented in the uh, sprints. And we're going to see if Mr. Gonzalez is going to jump now. Looks like he's getting ready for the high jump. Unofficially, it looks at about 5-2 on the high jump. I think somebody's got to stop the uh, bar from shaking before he goes. <laughs> Gonzalez is getting ready for his approach. Easily over the the bar job well done by mr gonzalez so he clears what appears to be five foot two from our vantage point blackhawk jumper makes it as well And we're going to take a break and we'll be back again. We'll see if uh, they take their second jump, if we can catch that for you. As they finish out the 55 meter dash. And the upcoming will be the 300 or the 600. And we'll bring that to you in just a moment. All right, we'll back, be back. It looks like it's going to be the mile. Running for Norton, it'll be McConnell, Nichols, Moon, and Guiney. Just in, the shot put second place for Jason Soares at 32 feet for Norton. So this will be a little more than four laps here. Going to try and track down athletic director Aaron Sumner, see if we can't get some of the numbers for these participants. I thought I saw him earlier. Let's see if he's he's around. He's always doing something to help out the coaches. So I'll see if we can't track down Aaron and get the numbers for these participants in the mile. Hello. Gonna be getting ready here. They're off. Coming up. Now to come down really the first stretch here. Everybody's there. 829 for Norton. Sitting up front with the leaders. Looks like uh, Bellingham Runner out first now as they approach the end of the first lap. Steady pace here, everybody looking pretty good. A 29, the first Lancer. We've got 831, 834. And 816. Coming through the second lap. Places remain the same. The Blackhawk leading just by a bit. You can see other runners from other schools but that's who the Norton runner is keeping within his sights. Both runners looking strong, Dover Sherborne out there. Here comes the second Lancer, so it looks like right now Lancer's two, three, and four 
in their meet. Coming in now. Jostling now, picking up the pace a little bit. Norton Runner looking good right on the Blackhawks' hip. Lance is now picking up, coming into, we will hear the bell in just a second. Or not. No, I'm sorry that I forgot this is 200 meter. <laughs> 200 meter track. Jameson Haig just pointed out to me. So looking good here. As the top Lancer takes the lead. Looking strong now. Let's see if we can't get a time. It'll be unofficial, but we're gonna try and get a time here. Another nice jump by Gonzalez. I see him excited. So job well done by the Lancer by the Lancer high jumper, and now the, the Norton runner still with a slight lead above, yeah, maybe uh, four or five strides ahead of the Blackhawk runner. Lancer's looking good here. Right on the hip of that Dover Sherborne runner. Blackhawks runners coming out on the outside. Looks like he's really putting in uh, some energy, but Lancer's cruising. Almost looks like he's cruising here. Looks very fresh. Other Norton runners looking well also. Blackhawk runner, blast through. Coming in, Blackhawk runner now really putting some distance between his opponents. Coming in now, so got a good time going here. Looks like it's gonna be about a 4.53, 4.55 for your second place Lancer. Looks like the Lancers will go 2-3 in the mile. So well represented by McConnell, Nichols, Moon, and Guiney. We don't have numbers here and we apologize. I believe that was McConnell that uh, had an outstanding run for the Lancers. He led for a couple laps. It came in about 4.55. We'll take a break now and get set for the next event. All right, we're gonna see if we can get Gonzalez with another jump here. Unofficially, the height looks about 5-6. So Gonzalez is gonna give it a go here. He's looked outstanding so far this evening. Waiting for the okay from the official, he gets it. Now he's ready. Gonna start his approach here. Oh, just edges the bar and goes down. 
So miss at 5-6 for Gonzalez, the Lancers high jumper. take a break and we'll be back in just a moment. We'll see what event will be up next for NorthMediaCenter.org. Jameson Haig, David Bowie, we'll be right back. Here by Gonzalez. Oh, you almost had that one. He knows it. Ah, a little upset. Just caught it. Good effort there by Gonzalez. see what running event will be next. We'll be back in just a moment. All right, looks like we got an event going here. We'll wait for the call. Norton Runners getting ready. Looks like it might be the two mile. Johnson. Oh, I don't even know those guys. Katsikis. All right, we're getting ready for a start here. Staggered in the I don't know in a minute how fast they go. And 
And they're off. It's like this could be the thousand. It's, I, I believe it's a thousand. They're moving pretty quick out. So for the thousand, you have McConnell, Massey, the, and the, all ahead. In the four by four, I think today. Yeah, yeah. He's also run the four by four, so that makes sense. So looking good, Norton with the lead. Norton battling to try and get that third position. They've got to get something going here, but off to the races. Charlie leading it, really putting some distance between him and the Hawk runners. Looks like Hawks, Black Hawks was second and third, but they're not going to catch him coming in here. And a job well done by Charlie for Norton. So Norton takes the thousand. Second and third is going to be the Black Hawks. Now another Norton runner coming in. Job well done by the Lancers in the thousand. They take another event. We'll be back in just a moment with another event in this dual meet in uh, the Tri-Valley League fashion. All the teams represented here, but it's Norton versus Bellingham. We'll be back in just a moment. Getting ready here for the 300. And they're off. It's Soars, Tran, and that's Tosca for the Lancers here in the 300. Coming around the bend now. Looks like Soars out in front. Soars now still in the lead. Battling now. Out front, it's two Lancers and a Hawk. Looks like the Hawk's going to take it here, and then three Lancers right behind. Soar's battling Tran. And in Tosca, 2-3, go the Lancers. Looked like, I believe it was Tran and Jason Soar's. Three and Tosca, four, unofficially. So Lancers go 2-3 in the 300. Officially, uh, Charlie Mills took first in the 600. We believe uh, Norton went one, two, three in the hurdles with Brat Cropley and Brady McKay. We've got another heat here now with more Lances in it. Let's see, Ferreira and Brat and might be Hasse out there, according to our lineup. The 55, we we unofficially, Lancers took 2-3. I think it was Bratt and Ferreira. We're not sure it was so close. Who took 2-3. and three. A Bellingham runner was involved there, so we, that could have changed. When we said Soares took second in the shot put, waiting for results from some of the events here. Everything moving so fast and simultaneously. We'll probably be wrapping it up shortly and try and get the results. And they're off. So three Lancers running together and against each other here. We'll see, here's where the lanes make up a difference as they come down the stretch here. They'll be a lot closer. All the Lancers looking good here. Just like we said, we believe it's Brad Ferrer and Hassey here in the second heat. 
Looking strong, Ferreira now looks like he's gonna take this one. And a job well done by the Lancer crew. That finishes the 300, Lancers go 2-3 and the 300 will be back in just a moment to wrap it up. All right, so we're gonna go over the results that we have unofficially. So starting out the meet, it looked like Norton went one, two, three in 55 hurdles. Brad Cropley, Brady McKay. Unofficially took second and third with Brad Ferreira in the 55. In the 300, Jason Soares second, Tran third. Soares also second in the shot put. Charlie Mills took first in the 600. It was McConnell second in the mile. We believe Gonzalez uh, with 5-4, jumping 5-4, took first in the high jump. So with a couple of events still to follow with this big crowd here, we will say goodbye till the next time. Results to be posted. For NorthMediaCenter.org, we will say goodbye till the next time from Wheaton College.